Everybody figures. Hard. Opposed? None. What do you care? Number eight, a motion to adopt resolution number 2020-19, authorizing the submission of a grant application to the Community Development Law Grant Program in the amount of $30,750 for Darby Way Station Street Catch Basin Replacement. Uh -huh. So, BJ and Bruce, any remarks? Everybody in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Number nine, a motion to adopt resolution number 2020-20, appointing a delegate and alternate delegate to the Southwest Allegheny County Tax Collection Committee. So we second. Who the motion? Now you? Yes. Okay, Bruce and Nikki. Everybody in favor? Aye. 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 Number 10, a motion to adopt resolution number 2020-24, Authorizing the submission of a grant to the Active Allegheny Grant Program seeking funding for the Bridgeville Active Transportation Plan Project. So your motion. I'll move. I'll second. 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 And Bruce. Everybody in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Number 11. A motion to authorize the advertisement and public display of ordinance number 1019. An ordinance establishing the 2021 sewer rates. The 2021 sewer rates is the Alcasan fee increase only. The new monthly fee is proposed to be $15.83 per 1,000 gallons with a $6.37 uh, $6 per month customer service charge. I need the motion. So move Bruce. Second. And uh, Philip. I think the Mark. In our budget this year, we do not plan on the increase in the Bridgeville side. I have a question, Joe. Yes, sir. Um, the, the, the service firms, that you said that's just on a monthly, it's not regulated by the amount of quantity, correct? No, that what, what it is, Elk is in as a customer service charge that's billed once quarterly. Yes. That's, it's, that's purely all that's the Elk is in fee just divided up per month. Yeah, but it's based. It, it's based just on per customer. On, on. Yeah, flat. Okay. It has an addition to the thousand. Okay. The borough only charges six dollars and thirty-seven cents or six dollars and seventy-three cents per thousand gallons in that same machine. Is that clear now, everybody? Yes. Okay. Uh, Bruce and Charles will be the first and second. Everybody in favor? Opposed? Motion carried. Number 12, a motion to authorize the advertisement and soliciting for proposals for the comprehensive plan update project. I'll move. I'll second. Mr. Verdicci and Nancy, any remarks? Everybody in favor? Uh, uh, Close. Motion carried. Number 13, a motion to accept the lowest proposal received and award contract to Hispanics Next Generation. Contracting Company Incorporated in the amount of $20,500 for the repair of the concrete garage floor in the Police Sally Port portion of the borough. So move the motion. So move Bruce. I'll second. And BJ Bob. Any remarks on this? But is there any, everybody in favor? Uh, Aye. Motion carried. Number 14, a motion to authorize the borough engineer to prepare plans, specifications, and bid documents for the Warner Avenue stabilization project. I need a motion. Uh, yeah. Can I ask a question on that, please? Uh, I, I got to get a copy of this submittal from I guess, Kevin, if you're there, it's a question for you. There's an item on the uh, half six. Wait, yeah, he's just on the time. Kevin, are you there? In full format, I think that'd be awesome. I don't think so. I, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know where he is. Is he in the Can we tell you what? He's not dead. There he is. Kevin, are you there? One second. Oh, he's coming in now. 
I'm back. Yeah. Question for you that we're around to do a proposal. Uh, task number six. It's a part time resident project representative. Uh, as requested, as needed basis in accordance with Exhibit A. I don't have Exhibit A. But uh, services will consist of site observation for two hours daily for an anticipated three week construction period. And the cost of that is forty-five hundred dollars, which is like one hundred and fifty bucks an hour. You guys hired enough of that. Yeah, that that's uh, part time for the duration of that contract. So that person charges out at about seventy seventy-five dollars an hour. I asked why. I'm mean, glad we need this person. Well, it's a resident rep to stop in and uh, check on the progress and get quantities and make sure they're doing per specification. Yeah, but we, you have an engineer that um, all the time, right? No, this person just stops in part time. Oh, okay. That's right. yeah. Okay. yeah, we don't. It's, it doesn't it doesn't deserve a full time person. They're from your firm. Yes. Oh, they are? Okay, that's the resident. Oh, that is, I thought it was somebody who's off the street. <laughs> oh, we were trying to decipher, it says resident on it. We are trying to decipher what that meant. Oh, it, instead uh, of calling them inspectors, we call them uh, resident reps. And exhibit, ex, exhibit A explains that. It's the, uh, it's the inspector on the job. Okay. Is it clear to everybody? We're all going to <laughs> Do we have to look at something here? We do that. Make a motion. I make a motion. Okay. And the second. Second. Everybody in favor? Aye. Uh, against? Motion carried. Number 15, a motion to approve the disbursement of $145,203.77 for partial payment number two. And approving change order number two for the Lawton on Park Phase Two Improvement Projects, the amount of ten thousand seven hundred eighty-two dollars and thirty-seven cents for additional grading work that was needed to for ready site development and paving company. Any motion? So moved. Any question? Okay. I need a second. I'll second. Okay, Mr. Glossman, Mr. Kalanich, everybody in favor? Opposed. Uh, Motion Number 16, a motion to accept and pay any commission due to the October 2020 real estate tax collector report. I'll move. Okay, Mr. Verducci and BJ. Any question? Question, no question. Any, uh, I need a vote. Everybody in favor? No, it's motion carry. Number 17, a motion to accept the October 2020 police report. I move. Second. Mr. Verzucci and Bruce, right? No. The, the, next. Okay. Any remarks? Any, any remarks? Everybody in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Committee report, administration, Mr. Bob. Thank you, Mr. Um, I'm happy to report that the admin committee has received its first draft of the personnel handbook. Um, I want to give a special shout out to Joe Bowock, who worked on this prior to uh, Joe Cotton. And with his input, um, we're expected to meet in the next week or two to give our final review and comments. So hopefully, you know, we'll have this work out by the new year. So thank you for that, Joe. Um, the 2021 newsletter sales ads have begun. This is the newsletter that we're going to do annually once a year that um, we all look at. Um, so that's starting and the articles have are in the beginning stages. So um, 
I'm excited about that. But in addition to that, we just had everyone should have received their quarterly community update in the October trash bill by now. Um, in an attempt to keep our residents informed about what's happening in the borough, uh, this info is also posted on the borough website. And there have been multiple copies placed at large public facilities in town. Um, many of the Biblo Villa, the different towers, so these residents have access to uh, the information. About weed pickup, um, shrubbery pickup, things like that, street cleaning. Um, the design of the borough building community message LED sign. Um, has been completed and public works is expected to install the conduit for the parking lot is completed the parking lot next to the borough building. So hopefully our new sign will be at the time of the year I would agree. And um, I'm happy uh, to announce that new resident package that we talked about a little while ago that Joe listened to what we had to say have been sent to all new homeowner buyers for the prior month. So again, thank you. This is something that are sent to, they utilize the real estate transfer list and send out the new patients or the new uh, resident packets to uh, new residents, providing them information about, you know, trash pickup, sewer, leak, leak pickup, uh, meeting days, things like that. And then last but not least, um, our copier and printer lease agreements have been renegotiated and renewed. And um, we'll save the borough thousands of dollars over the next five years. So, um, good news there to the whole federal. And that's all I have. Anybody from the chamber of business? Anything? Any questions? Okay, if there isn't any, we go to finance with Mr. Marducci. Uh, thank you, Nino. Uh, the general fund continues to be uh, on track and, and actually doing very well. Revenue has uh, been a, was just shy of 97 percent of the budget and expenditures were down uh, still at 81 percent but we do have some uh expenses that do come at the end of the year so we're doing very well there uh, as far as the capital improvements the loan closing uh, will be held on november 12th uh, the funds will go directly into our capital funds account to be able to be paid whenever those uh, jobs are completed and the 2021 budget is ready to go for inspection. Uh, that will be released for you tomorrow. 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 That will be available tomorrow. That's all I have. Thank you. Anything for Mr. Richards? Any questions? Okay, thank you, Joe. Good job. Good job. You guys did a good job on trying to have the uh, budget. Uh, part of recreation, Mr. Cross. Thanks, uh, as was reported on the website, the water is off the parks, so there's no restrooms before morning. And as Governor also mentioned, which was reported on uh, pavement with the clock in the park, it's sort of old, just on the top base, due to the heavy trucks running down there from the loading and the wall field. So I think we're going to go to the uh, contract extension down there, and the pavement will be completed in the spring. We're supposed to take about 12 and we will jump on the asphalt. Hopefully, it holds up. Last but not least, it's sort of a good thing. I've been told that the Boy Scout will be taking a long time to mention it. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. So, hopefully, you know, I don't know if you have a stage at it. That's all I got. Anything for Mr. So, which part was that? They gave that to The track. Thank you. Mr. Cross, you know, my vice uh, nice chairman of public board, would you please read the, uh, the uh, public board uh, record on it? So, we will read it. A monthly report for November. The collection is ongoing and will be run through the first week of December. Please don't be swept into piles of the curb. Please do not place any other yard waste such as sticks, debris, or debris in the waiting piles. Program follows this week's sweeping schedule. 
Christ brought the truth, like the tree trimmings, the wings, place the curves for the young to look up. All brush material must be no larger than 12 inches in diameter. Glass cutting the park scrub properties, right away as the properties continue. Utility company identified on street restorations, even for open street opening gardens for the season. They were also provided for thorough specifications for the other roads on the store. I pictures on the front of the vertical and updated the Dowling Beef Washington Open Street by Electric. Bridge repaired to two lights that were not connected to Station Street. New common rule was installed, lights were instantized, and the sidewalk was restored. Lights in the 400 block of the road problem were out of the problem with the left on the broken section of the Crew replaced the section of the on Station Street and reconnected the East North Street sidewalk. The electrician replaced the service box of Washington Avenue and Bank Street extension. We will prepare a quote to replace the other four service costs in the equipment and stations. Park maintenance. Water services disconnected with all parts of the season and crews winterized each park. Crew dressed up the next game and will run the zebra track in the park. We planted a new Christmas tree with a track in the park. Equipment maintenance, new jump truck delivered, insured, details are being made. Ready for service. Salts, salts brothers were added to the dump trucks and ready for winter operations. Sign maintenance is ongoing in place of missing signs to repair the damage of location. Ongoing maintenance has been dedicated to filling potholes and repairs to multiple streets and alleys. Clean catch basins and swales throughout town on many days. The foreman of the farm market reported multiple transfers on the following day. Thank you, Jim. Very good report. What a, what a job these few guys are doing. I, I tell you what, they are doing good, good work. Now, let's, I have a question for the parks. On a nice day like today and yesterday, if the people still can go in, we know, we know we're in water, we're not in bathroom, we understand. Well, the block was construction. Charters, we always cut that out. We put out until the weather turns around. Well, that is the excuse. Anything else? I think the open and the close, it would be for the police to do as I remember. They're open now, right? Even now, they're open. They keep their stars to be like, they lock it up and it's ready to do it. I think a couple of works may have been up in the upper area going down to the bathroom. And we did that first thing in the morning. So they may have been up in the morning. The evening was on the street. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Excuse me, what are the times for opening the floor? Same as before? It's seven. Oh, uh, I don't see what they did. Terrible thing to say. Thank you. Any more questions? Madam Mayor, how are you here? We have your report, please. I hope you saw that our, the sister of our late mayor passed away, Dolores Dolby Davis, and there won't be any viewing of service at her request. Also on Wednesday, the 11th, Senator Iron Beetle will be at the American Legion at 1 o'clock. I also anticipate uh, Tom Durham from Allegheny County being there to recognize the Legion on November 29th. They will have been here as an organization for 100 years. They will be receiving proclamations for that. Thank you. Anything for the mayor? Any questions? Thank you, Madam Mayor. Police Chief, Chad. He's not here. No, no report from the person. You know, don't hear about public safety. Public safety, yes. 
Yes, sir. How are you doing this evening? Pretty good, thank you. We did submit our report dated November 5th, and as you can see, we have a tremendous amount of construction activity. Um, we do expect the road paving to be completed uh, this week, uh, and then we'll do a final inspection and close them out. And all the other contracts uh, are going uh, well at this time. Um, there is a delay in materials on the Janeway uh, project. The logs take um, about 12 weeks to get in. Uh, as soon as they get in, they will get started. So any questions? Any questions for the engineer? Thank you, Kevin. Fire Chief. Yes. Uh, oh, there's one here out there. So, uh, last one, we had 30 calls. Uh, medical assistance, eight of them, motor vehicle accident with uh, three gas leaks, two uh, very slow calls throughout the month. Uh, we also, from the way everybody know that many residents at Jerk Pass that have commercial street, we have our annual uh, slave for cash tickets going for sale. They are $20 a piece, and on the day of Christmas, equal to $10,000. That'd be a pretty cool Christmas gift. So feel free to see any fire fire. Or if you see them at the end of our street, feel free to uh, stop by and grab a ticket or two. Much appreciated. Also, on December 6th, we're having a pancake dinner down at the fire hall. What's that? Oh, correct. It's my bad. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's on the answer. It's hit. Pancake breakfast. Uh, see our Facebook page for all details, any events, any coming up. I'll give you further details about that and everything. And, uh, anything for the our, our chief. Okay, the next one would be uh, Del Miller on EMS. Is he there? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Historical Society, very wise. Then and Mary, do you have any report for that? Yes, the program for November 24th will be day by day with the 123rd PA Volunteers, Major Allegheny Regiment fights during the Civil War, presented by Chris Stewart. She also hopes that you will stop and buy note cards, and that you will also take out a membership and stop and see us during the holidays. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, we have now the library. Anybody represent the library here or there? No way. Okay, we pass on this one here. Uh, parking authority. Nobody there. Bridgeville Planning Commission representative. We don't have any. We have any I'm questions? here. Justine's here. 
Can you hear me? Oh, oh. hey, you are not. Go ahead. All right. Well, basically, what we were presented uh, last month was a McLaughlin run flood mitigation project for consideration. Most of the evening was uh, set up with discussing that. And the chicken situation, as well as the police pedestrian safety report, was tabled until December 7th. And that's it. Thank you. Yep. Okay, Laura Fenders. Uh, a couple of quick things. Uh, so with your retirement, the Public Works Department in February. Uh, the employment ad for that vacancy is going to be ran in the newspaper so and be circulated later this week. Uh, the goal is that we'll accept applications through early December, uh, interview in December, and hopefully have a candidate to hire before council at our January meeting so that the new person can be brought on right at the transition time for that uh, retirement employee's departure. Uh, a couple of grant applications were completed this month. The CDPG and active uh, Allegheny transportation grant applications are done and ready to be submitted tomorrow. And uh, a monthly report was submitted. If anyone has any questions, so I'm happy to answer. Anything from you for that board Any questions? Well, basically, I have one thing. Um, at the end of this, we have always have Mary Blake, even if she's not here, have a report. Uh, and Ben, I know from the library, comes at least once a quarter. But I really, and we always have somebody from Fannie Commission. But I really think that we need to almost have a structure to make sure that each one of them maybe have a, a presentation each quarter. Um, we haven't heard from the parking authority for six months. Yeah. Okay. Well, almost a year. I mean, our goal was to have these representatives. That's why they're on the agenda. Um, I'd like to hear what's going on with the parking authority and some of the things that that have been going on that we could at least have a question or two that I've actually held on to for at least four months. Uh, talking about the increase in fees and things like that that they're charging, which is fine if, because they're making our parks nice and, and so forth. But I think we need to have some explanation and what's going on with the parking authority. I mean, it is part of the borough, and I think that the, the public deserves to hear some updates from them as well, just like the other representatives have done in the past. Very, very good question. I believe that that should be enforced by council, not under uh, and, motion of anything. And I know that one or two of them are having some health issues and and there's other things going on, but there's more than just one or two. I think there's five or six. Yes. Uh, Maybe we should make that a case a policy. I don't know, under administration, under all of us. We should definitely then. Yeah. Yeah. We will like that. Some kind of representation, and we should. We 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 deserve it. The people deserve it. In my Thank you, Mr. Foundation. Very excellent, excellent, excellent idea. Okay, under new business. Well, before we adjourn, let's say happy Thanksgiving. That means it's coming up. Everybody and every family takes me. Motion to adjourn. So, with the best, get to the Absolutely.